Today is the last um, unboxing I have for DIY Moonshop for the orders that I've received and haven't actually opened yet. Um, this is all of my random artists where I only have like one of them. So we're going to start out with this one that I have right here. And this is I Miss You So Much by Michelle Shaw. Uh, I got it in the 24 inch by 31.2 inch or the 60 by 78 centimeters. And I got it in squares. I received this in June. And I really, really like this picture. I showed it to my boyfriend and he really liked it too. And it kind of made me think of all those times when you sit back and you think about people that you've missed that you've e either people that you can't see daily or people that have passed and just how much you sit there and you're like i miss this person and i wish i could be around them more so this is kind of what it remind me of and i really like it i think it's a very beautiful picture okay so it looks like not sure which way not sure which way this is. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is going to be so pretty. And I actually think... I actually think... Um, I think this is something that will wind up being darker than I thought. And I might have to find some uh glow in the dark stuff for it. Alright, picture. Cooperate. Cooperate. But this is very, very pretty. I like it. I'm just gonna roll it backwards here so that smooths out a little bit. And the canvas, again, does not feel like most of the others. Ooh, there's some sticky here. Very sticky here. So, I'm actually going to turn it this way. This is so pretty. So, it's supposed to be like the chick is laying down. And then these are the memories of those that she misses. Oh, this is going to be so pretty to work on. And I did get it in squares. And it has 38 colors and it has one AB. It looks like the AB is going to be the black AB. Um, which kind of disappoints me. I don't really like black ABs. I think they're kind of ugly. So, it says that this should be number four. Oh, so it's going to be spread all through this. It looks like it's through... So it might just be right here. Oh, well. But either way, I think this is a very beautiful picture. Um, Michelle does have other pictures on DIY Moonshop. This just happened to be the one that caught my eye that I really, really liked. Her artwork is very similar to this and it is very pretty, but I do, I do like this one a lot. And I think this would be fun to have done and hang up on the wall. And the color palette, if I can get it under the camera, there we go. And the color palette is a lot of blues and greens and, per well, not greens. Blues and purples and some blacks, and I very much love the colors of this kit. And I am going to have a lot of fun working on it. I did notice that at the top of this up here that this was a little bit sticky, but should be should be able to get it off with a baby wipe. The canvas is again feels different than most of the other pictures. <laughs> Uh, none, the canvas, none of the canvases feel the same, which really disappoints me a lot, but we're going to roll this one back up and we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, this next one is Mononoke 
from Leia Linnea Joy. I'm not sure if I'm saying her name right, but I think that's how it's pronounced. I couldn't find a pronunciation for it. So I'm going to say it's Linnea Joy. Uh, I really like this picture. I got it in a 20 by 25.2 inch or a 50 by 63 centimeters. And I got it in a round and I received this in August. I... I mean, like I said before, Princess Mononoke is one of my favorite um, movies of all time, along with Spirited Away. Oh, this cover feels different, too. The, the, the dust cover feels different. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the dust cover back on. That, that's a tight squeeze. Okay. Okay, this feels like the very nice canvas, like my Shiryuki ones that I just got um, here in September. Oh no, why is this sticky? No, it's sticky. Why is that sticky? I don't like that. Alright, so that's the top of the picture. It's all sticky. Why is that sticky? Oh, okay. Oh... Oh, cool. It looks even cooler than I thought. I forgot I had the little spirit, woo, uh, will the wisp things. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. Other than this up here being sticky, I don't see any other issues. The quality of the canvas is like the ones, the Shariuki ones that I reviewed that I liked. This is the this is the light type of canvas that I was hoping most of mine would be, but they're not. There's 36 colors and one AB, and the one AB is in W. I don't know where it would be, but I I know I I know I'm thoroughly this way, that way. There we go. I just know that I thoroughly like this picture. This is very very pretty. Um, I think I'll work this up very, very quickly. The color palette is very, very basic. Um, nothing's too extreme in it. I do love the bright red that her markings will be. Um, just a very all overall nice picture. I think this size actually complements it well. Um, much bigger, or any bigger, yes, of course, would give you more detail, but I don't really know if you need it. I think this will be more than detailed enough, personally. But yes, this is Mononoke by Liana Joy. I'm probably not saying her name right, but that's the only thing I can come up with. Um, so I hope you all like this one. I don't remember. I think she does have other stuff on DIY Moonshot, but I don't remember what it is. But always make sure you check her out. Everything will be linked down below and i'm gonna go ahead and roll this back up so my next picture is a uh, bunny witch by mnk kidda i'm not sure if i said that right but uh this one i got as part of the halloween sale as well i have just received this at the end of september and i'm kind of curious if the quality is going to be similar to the other stuff that I got at the end of September. Oh. Oh, we got some purple beads. We got some purple drills inside the box. And inside the cover. Uh-oh. And the, the dust cover's not big enough for it. And, of course, we have the toolkit that I don't care about. Oh, oh, feels like there's dirt or something all over the canvas, all over the plastic on the top, and there's beads, there's drills out here, um, okay, 
So the glue is still fine, but the top of the can the top of the hmm, the top of this feels very, very uh dirty. But I love the picture. I guess you would call this more snack size. Uh this is 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters, which I think is 20 inches by 20 inches. For me, anyways, this would be snack size. <laughs> If you pay attention to the sizes of any of my other pictures, this is snack size for me. Because <laughs> I, I tend to do very, very large pictures. Um, there are 35 colors in one AB. It looks like the AB is the letter P. Which is... Which is... Looks like it's just kind of like a highlight color. Like, you got some there, one there, a few over here. The thing is, I think it's more like a highlight color, so I would probably replace the, the P's completely with the AB when I did this one. Um, I am very concerned with the fact, I'm very concerned with the fact that, as you can see, apparently one of the purples has um, broke open. I think it's this this main color purple here. Um, it kind of concerns me that that is broke open like that. I hope I'm not short any beads. Uh, I do plan on working on this one. Hopefully, next. Hopefully, sometime in the next three months. So we will see what happens. But I am very concerned with the fact that uh, it appears that the bag has has come open. I do love the colors and I love the design. I think it's cute. Um, my, my, I showed it to my boyfriend because his like, uh, his online persona is kind of, is, a uh, developed into something where he, they call him a bunny. And so I, I told him, I said, I, I got you something that I think you'll like. And I, I pulled out, I showed him this picture and he's like, oh, that's cute. <laughs> And he's like, that's cool. I was like, yeah, I thought I thought it would be cool. I said, I'm just calling you a bunny witch. And he just started laughing. He thought it was great. But I love the color of this kit. And I'm excited to work on it. I know that the artist does have other stuff on DIY Moonshot. But I don't remember exactly what it is. I just know this one caught my attention because I liked it. So we're going to go ahead and roll this one up. And we will move on to the next one. All right. So, for our next one, we have Blue Valentine by Ava Gumyu. I got this in an 18 by 24.8 inches. It's also 45 by 70, or 62 centimeters. This is uh, from my second order from DIY Moon Shop. It is from uh, the June delivery, right after they started doing boxes instead of hand packing. Uh, so I'm really curious to see if my theory holds true where um, the, they've changed the kits and the newer stuff is different. Or if stuff is just not consistent. Mm, this feels more like the old, the, the same as the stuff from that time frame. Oh my goodness. I was so concerned that the size was not going to work and that it was going to look so wrong, but I think it works, I think it works beautifully. Alright, I want to roll this back a little bit so I can see it better. That we all can see it better. And I love the color palette, I'm loving all these blues and teals. Oh my goodness. That is so beautiful. I love it. This right here is gonna, the hat is gonna just like get me. But I was very, very concerned that the picture was not gonna look well at a smaller size. Because I debated at getting the, the much, much bigger size and I was like, no, that just seems like too big. It's going to be too big. I don't like, I don't want it to be that big, but I was really concerned about losing a lot of the detail, but it seems like it's going to be here. 
Oh, I like it. I'm very happy with this. So this is a 32, uh, has 32 colors. And it has one AB. And it says H is the AB, so it's gonna, the AB is going to be all through her hair. And that's going to be cool. I, I really like that. I am, a. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun to work on. And I love the color palette. Do I have that right? Over here. I love the color palette. The color palette is fantastic. And here's the AB. I think this is going to be beautiful. Oh, I did get it in round. So that's another thing. This is a round. So, oh, this is going to be so much fun to work on. I'm loving this blue already. It's much more vibrant than I thought it was going to be. All right, let's pack this one up and move on to the next one. All right, so for our last kit here, we have Purple Haze by J. Poshte. I'm probably saying her name wrong, but that's the best I could come up with. Um, I got this in a 20 inch by 20 inch, which comes out to a 50 by 50 centimeter. Um, I got this during a, one of the sales and I don't remember which one and it's usually not my particular style, but I loved the fact that it was purple and I loved the fact that it had a wolf in it. So I went ahead and got it. Yeah, this was probably from one of the, this is probably from a, when did I order this? I want to say it was probably June or July. Yeah, this was part of my second order with DIY Moon Shop. So this one I received in June. And I can tell because of the way the canvas feels. Uh, so let's see what this looks like. Ooh, this is pretty. Even though this is technically snack size according to, to my own measurements, this would take me a minute because of all the confetti. But I thoroughly loved her face and all the purples and the blues. And then I loved the wolf that was incorporated. I really, really liked that. That's what made me decide to get it. Um, It does have 35 colors and it has one... A, B, which is F, which is all these blue, all these really, really dark blue lines and swirls and stuff. So, I'm hoping, did I get this in round? Yes, I got this in round. Let's see here. Alright, so it looks like the color, that's the A, B, is this one right here. So, that's going to be very pretty. And I'll probably mix the two together so that it adds some sparkle effect. But this is the color palette, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I can't wait to work with all these purples and blues. But this is a, a very pretty picture, and uh, the small size still does it justice. It does come in a bigger size. And this particular artist does have multiple pictures with DIY Moonshot. So if you do like this, but it's not exactly your style, but you want to see if she has something else, there is more um, there for you to look at. It's just, it's very, very pretty. I'm glad I like the colors and I can't wait. Um, so for me, this is going to be the, the end of our, our video today. And this is actually the last of my DIY Moonshop kits that I have never opened. So, I hope everybody enjoyed and enjoyed seeing the various things that I picked up. I know some of these things I've never seen anybody else open. So, I hope it just gives you a, a sample of variations of what DIY Moonshop has. Um, it does seem like they have changed their canvas type since I got a lot of these. Uh, my newer kits have a much nicer canvas. Um, so just bear that in mind that it seems like their canvas seems to be fluctuating in quality. Um, personally, I only buy, I will only buy from them now if they're offering a very, very good sale. 
because their pricing never changed when they switched to direct shipping from their manufacturer and their shipping cost is still way too high. Um, the, the last order that I did with them, uh, the total for the number of kits that I got came out to right at around $350 and then shipping was another $120. So that to me is still way too high in shipping costs. I don't know what they can do about it, but I, I just, I can't, without a massive sale, I can't justify buying from DIY Moon Shop anymore. It's just their, their quality is not up to par to what they're charging for their kits, in my opinion. It's still a good quality. It would still be considered a premium diamond painting company, but for the amount that they're charging in USD, I just can't justify it. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are that feel the same. That they like the kits and they like the quality, but the price of shipping and the price of the kits themselves is just too much. So, I do know that some of the other creators do have uh, discount codes and that type of thing. So look out for those, for those people. And I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. And I hope you, if you do buy from DIY Moon Shop, I hope you enjoy your order. And I hope the kits come in gorgeous. And I hope all of your projects are fun. Thank you everybody for hanging out with me while I went through these kits. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Please like and follow if you're not already following. If you enjoy gaming and that type of thing, links for all my gaming stuff is in the, is in the description. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Have a good afternoon, morning, evening, whatever it is, wherever you're at. See y'all next time. Bye.